I'm shifting gears on you here now. I'm over at the Silver Cell. This is the uh, power supply for my electrolytic Silver Cell. If you look down here, this is the uh, impure silver crystal from my last batch. And what I'm doing is I'm running it through the uh, Silver Cell a second time. Uh, You can see the uh, silver collapses when I push it down in there because it's being dissolved by the electrolyte and so what we're going to do now is put some more silver crystals into the cell here. Alright, if you look up here at the power supply, now the uh, amps have gone way back up because I've got a whole lot more silver down in the bottom of the anode filter making contact with the electrolyte. Two days growth. See what is day? Today's Thursday and I started this on Monday, so that's three days worth of growth down in the electrolytic silver cell. This is pure silver crystal that was discolored if you remember from a previous video what I did is I restarted the cell and I fed this pure silver crystal back into the cell to refine it a second time and once all this gets used up I'm still gonna have plenty of room in here so what I'll do is I'll just keep filled, feeding pure silver crystal into the cell until we get a, a nice big batch of double refined pure silver crystal and then we'll offer some of that for sale on my eBay store here's the voltage on our electrolytic silver cell and the amperage 1.5 amps and if you look down here at the cell what happens when I uh, press down on the anode bar here it just kind of caves in that's because all the silver underneath has become dissolved and so we push it back down on here to get it to come in contact with our electrolyte here we go we're going to charge up the anode basket with some more of the silver crystal and keep going with this high purity double refined batch of pure silver crystal out of this refining I'm going to replace the electrode bar now and let's look up here and see what kind of current flow we got. You'll see that it uh, has increased because we've smashed the crystal down into the anode filter and made it come in close contact with the electrolyte. All right, let's take a look down inside of our cell here. You can see what the uh, crystal looks like. This is day four. Today is Friday. And that's what the silver crystal looks like after four days of growth. We started this on Monday. Today's Friday. I've used up all the silver out of my beaker over here. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and start topping this thing off with pure silver crystal from a previous batch. This is high purity silver. People have asked how much silver comes out of the cell versus how much you add into the anode filter basket and I've never done the experiment so I'm not certain of this but what I would uh, speculate is that the amount going in say a thousand grams when we harvest the crystal out of the cell I'm going to end up with 1200 grams now, how can that be? Are we producing silver with this process? The answer is no. In accordance with the uh, conservation of uh, matter, we're not producing silver. What happens is, as the silver cell operates, pure silver in the electrolyte starts to plate out along with 
the silver that dissolves in this basket and so the silver electrolyte becomes depleted because the silver in the electrolyte is plating out on, on the inside of the stainless steel bowl. Here I bared the end of a piece of number 10 copper wire and suspended it in the cavity of a graphite mold. That's two and a half, three ounces of pure silver. And what we'll do is we'll melt this up and uh, add some heat to the piece of wire in the graphite mold and then pour the silver in around the wire so it welds to it. And uh, you gotta remember here, I'm uh, trying to shoot the video and perform the task and I missed the shot of the actual pour, but I did have a successful bonding between the copper wire and the piece of silver. So this is the new uh, anode configuration. Here's the new anode connection. I've got this uh, bar soldered right into the, uh, or I've got the wire soldered right into the bar. If you look, the wire did melt a little bit down there when I was uh, pouring it, but that's okay. I think we're gonna try this now. This is my prototype. I spent a uh, better part of 20 minutes looking up who made the suggestion and I found a uh, the chief warrant officer his name was Daryl Daniels and I'd like to give a little shout out to Daryl for making this suggestion of eliminating the uh, clip completely from the circuit I'm gonna kill the power supply I fashioned a little hook on the end of this so it'll fit little trial and error process here with uh, this new configuration I've got some silver crystal here I'm gonna fill the basket back up here we go moment of truth I have no doubt that this will work it's a straight connection now with that wire cast right into the uh, into the anode bar there ha ah, look at that voltage changed I may have hit the uh, the adjustment on here when I was installing the new cable I'm gonna put it back to 3.7 and see what kind of voltage we're getting right down at the cell holy cow look at that man it's the same as up here on the power supply now wow that was a huge improvement a most ben I'm gonna turn this back down to 3.5 now that was a huge improvement and a very beneficial suggestion by Daryl Daniels man that's just a huge improvement just goes to show you how important it is to pay attention to these uh, comments in here okay we got 3.5 volts at the cell also I'm on the uh, anode bar up here and then I'm touching the, the actual bowl, the electrode, and I'm back down to 3.2 volts. So that means these clips on here aren't transmitting, uh, aren't conducting the electricity properly to the bowl. That was on the clip. I'm only getting 3.2 volts on the bowl, so now I'm going to have to rethink the uh, connections for the negative side of the power supply to the bowl. I'm going to adjust the uh, voltage back up to 3.7 and then we're going to retake the reading down here on the cell. This leads on the anode bar, this leads on the 
stainless steel bowl. We're back up to three point, almost 3.4. So I'm gonna leave that uh, voltage adjusted to 3.7. And then we'll rethink the harness here going to the cell and try to improve the connection there. Here you can see the conductivity is way up there. Almost two and a half amps at 3.7 volts. I just wanted to give you a quick look inside the cell here. Today is Saturday, so this thing's been running for about five days now. I started it on Monday. There's the look at the pure silver crystal in the silver cell.